I take refuge from the devil the accursed, and I begin with the name of God in this verse. Alif Lam Mim, letters of the Arabic language of which God alone knows what they refer to and mean, but Ibn Abbas explained it could be that these letters are an oath sworn by God, the Almighty. These are the verses of wise scripture, giving guidance and mercy to believers who do good deeds, who keep up the prayer and pay the alms and believe in the hereafter. They are the ones who will succeed. They are the ones who are rightly guided by their Lord, but there are others who are astray, like an Nadir ibn Harith, who pays for books on legends, astrology and foolish tales. Such people intend to lead others from God, with no real idea of what they proclaim. They will have a terrible torment for ignoring God's revelation that comes their way. When our verses are recited to him, he turns away dismissive, pretending he has not heard, acting as if there's deafness in his ears, and he'll have the grievous punishment that such behaviour deserves. But for those who believe and do righteous deeds, they'll have blissful gardens where they will stay. Such is God's promise to them. He is wise, he is almighty, far above what the disbelievers associate. He created the heavens without visible support and placed firm mountains on the earth, then spread animals all over it, and to him is the return at the rebirth. He sends down water from the sky, which makes each type of plant grow. All this is God's creation. Is there anything created by those you claim are partner gods that they can show? No, there is nothing they could create. Power to do so is the Lord's alone. The disbelievers are clearly astray. They will have the eternal fire as their home. We gave Luqman abundant wisdom. Those who give thanks benefit their own souls. And those who are not grateful should know God is not in need of them. He is worthy of all praise, the one who holds all control. Luqman advised his son, Don't attribute partners to God. To do so is a terrible wrong. And we have commanded people to be good to their parents. Their mothers struggled with them and for two years weaned them along. Give thanks to God and to your parents. All of you will return to me. But do not listen to them if they try to encourage you to follow them on the path of idolatry. Keep their company in this life by acting upon the bounds of what is right and follow those who seek my pleasure upon the straight path, those who will be rewarded with heaven's delights. All people will be returned to me and I will recount to them all they have done. And Luqman continued with his counsel and so he informed his son. My son, even if the tiniest mustard seed were hidden inside a stone, God would be able to bring it to light. He is subtle and all aware and all knowing. To him all things are known. My son, keep up the prayer, command what is right, and ensure you forbid the wrong, and bear your tribulations with patience, if anything bad were to happen. Move in a moderate manner, such actions and behaviour are traits that you should aspire to and do not think yourself above other people or act arrogantly in anything you do. God does not love the arrogant or boastful people. Do not raise your voice or have an insulting tongue and know that the worst of voices is the one that to the loud-brained donkey belongs. People, do you not see how God has made what is in the heaven and earth useful to you? He's lavished blessings inwardly through knowledge and outwardly through so many other things too. Yet some people dispute about God without knowledge or guidance or a truthful scripture and when told follow what God has sent down, they reply with their own conjecture. They say, we shall follow what our forefathers did, even if that is Satan's tricks leading them to the blazing fire. Those who follow good from God have understanding. God has knowledge of how things will transpire. As for those who choose to stray, profit, do not let their decisions upset you. They'll be returned to us for their reckoning. God knows all people and all people intend to do. God knows all that is in their hearts and what they contain. We let them enjoy this world for a short time and we shall drive them into a terrible punishment in the next life because of what they used to deny. If you ask them who created the heaven and earth, they are sure to say it is God who did so indeed. So say praise belongs to God. Be grateful to him, but instead they choose to be arrogant and disbelieve. Everything in the heaven and earth belongs to God, the self-sufficient one, the one worthy of all praise. 
Even if all the trees on earth were pens and all the seas were ink for writing, it would not be enough to record all God has to say. Even if we multiply the amount of both by seven, God's words would not run out. God is almighty and wise, and he is enough for those who believe, those who are devout. Creating and resurrecting all of you is like creating and resurrecting a single soul. God is all hearing and all knowing. He is the one who is in control. Prophet, do you see God causes night to merge into day and the day to merge into night, and that he has subjected the sun and the moon to run their own course for a stated time? And are you not aware that God is conscious of everything you people do, and that what they call on besides God is false? God is the highest and the greatest. God alone is the truth. Do you not see that ships sail through the sea by God's grace, truly a sign of his wonder? Indeed, there are signs for the steadfast, those who are grateful, those who reflect and ponder. When waves loom over those on board like terrifying shadows, they call to God above, but when he delivers them safely to the shore, God is no longer something they think of. Only a thankless person lacking in loyalty refuses to acknowledge God's signs. People be mindful of your Lord, and fear a day no parent will take the place of their child. Nor will the child take the place of their parent. God's promise is surely true, so by the world of this life do not be beguiled. Do not let the deceiver deceive you about God. Knowledge of the hour is God's alone. It is he who sends down rain, and he who knows what is hidden in every womb. No soul knows what it will have tomorrow, and no soul knows where it will die. God alone knows such things. The all-aware, the all-knowing, master of the ways of ascent from the sky.